Hi, and welcome. I'm Avon. Sometimes you want to manage large volumes of information. You need to update some records. Maybe you want to change a status. You want to send an email. And for that, you need bulk data management practices inside Zoho CRM. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use some of the tips and tricks that allow you to do bulk data management inside Zoho CRM. So first of all, I'm going to, we've got a bit of a contact list. I don't have many records, but just to demonstrate, first of all, we want to select the records. We can use the list at the top, I'm sorry, the button at the top, and it will select all records. What we can also do is obviously selectively select the records. But what we can do is if you want to grab a few in a row that isn't all of them, I can select one go to the bottom of the ones that I want to select, hit shift or hold down shift, and then it will select all the ones in between as well. And one thing you notice that happened when I did that is this list of buttons across the top. This range of buttons that appears is only for the records in the list view. So while I'm looking in the list view, doesn't matter if I've got one selected or multiple, I can go and make some changes. So if I click on actions, I've got a list of things that I can do. I can set a reminder. I can mass update, add them to campaigns, which is part of a marketing function. And we'll get on to doing some, or you can do delete. So we'll just cover high level at the moment. So I'm going to jump into mass update. And let's just say we want to set a field the same on all of them. So in this case, I'm going to select a field to display. And, and I'm then going to search for state. And now I've got two options. I've got mailing state or other state. I'm going to go for mailing. I'm going to change that to QLD. And then I'm going to click update. Now inside the record, if I had that field displayed, which we can check here, if I go to manage columns and I can go to mailing state, let's search for it here. And I will save. And we can see now that the mailing state for all the ones that I selected has been updated to Queensland. Now, if I want to deal with a few more records at the moment, I've only got 10 records per page selected here. I can view up to 100 records per page. If I had more than 100, they would all display here. Now, bearing in mind, there is a whole bunch of search parameters that you can use to find and narrow down the lists to suit your requirements. But let's just say I've got a few records and I wanna do quite a few changes. So what I can do is select some additional fields that I might wanna modify. So I'm gonna add a few extra fields here. Let's say I wanna double check first name and last name, which is the same as contact name. Contact name automatically joins them together, but if you actually wanna go and modify them independently, you might wanna pull them out as a separate field. I want title, I want department and then perhaps I want email opt-out status so I'm going to hit save and now I've added some extra fields I can scroll across and I can see those fields here so what we've done is we've increased the the display fields and you can increase the display fields displayed up to 15 so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top right here I'm going to click on actions I'm going to get some extra options here so we've got mass delete, mass update, like we did before, mass email, if you want to send a bulk email, I can send autoresponders, approve, duplicate, etc. But the thing I'm looking for right now is this Zoho sheet view. When I click that, it's going to open Zoho sheets. It gives me the ability to see a spreadsheet of the data. And you'll notice I've got all those that I selected. So here is our email opt-out, title, last name, first name. So let's just say I'm going to update this one. They're going to be Smith. Then I might update this one. We'll say manager. Now, if I think that all of these are managers, I can grab the corner like you can with most spreadsheets and drag that one down. And it's going to update that for all of the fields, for all of the records. Then perhaps I might, 
if I want to change this, I would type true. This is basically a true false so checkbox. So if I wanted to opt all of these out, I could just go and update true. And then I'm just going to hit control Z. Maybe I want to go and change that one or selectively. It's much like a normal spreadsheet. You've got options and you're updating the live rec only after you hit save. So if you make a mistake, you can always go back. You can click out of it and not actually save it if you wish. So I'm going to click on save. Now that I've saved that, that's updating the records inside Zoho CRM. So it's been saved successfully. So now I'm going to click out of it. So now I'm back in the CRM. Now, bear in mind that just opens a new tab. So you just click back to the other tab. And then now that I've made some changes, I'm just going to refresh the page and that should update those records on the page in live real time. So once the refresh is complete, I'm just going to scroll across and we can see our changes here. The title has been updated to manager. Now that we've made our changes in the sheet view, I might want to run some other automations. So I'm going to click on two of these. Now I've got the option I can send an email, I can create a task, maybe I can add a tag. Tags aren't really good for driving automation, but it might be good for you to just flag and identify a group or some similar trait. It's generally more of a visual thing. So I'm going to try and do several things at once. I want to send an email, I want to create a task. Perhaps I might want to update a field. In that case, I'm going to run a macro. Now a macro, and I can create one here is a set of tasks that are performed simultaneously. So in this one, I'm just going to create follow up. So you need to give it a name. I'd recommend giving it a description. I've only got this in here. We need to select an email template and I've created one here earlier. Just going to click on that one. And then I can select my from address. Can be the user's current email or current user's email. So then once I've selected the template, I wanna, if I want, I can update a field. You might have a checkbox to say initial follow-up completed or something like that. Then you can create a task and we can give the task a subject. So call or follow-up call in three days or something like that. So I'm gonna give it two days. Status is not, not started. Priority normal, notify assignee, reminder, add. So as soon as we bulk update those fields, we can go back to the record and click on two of these records. Actually, I'll have to click to select ones that have email addresses. And I go to run macro, click on follow up, and it is going to create an email, send an email and create a task. So once we've completed the macro, there's now an email sent to the customer and a couple of tasks created. And that is how to bulk manage data in Zoho CRM. Thank you and take care.